Yes, people, it's Adam from Shisha Central, and today I'm at Hooker Club Show in Russia, St. Petersburg. I've come to the show so I could show all of you UK Shisha lovers what the Russian hooker culture is all about and to help educate you on which other brands that are out here and um, how you can improve your smoke at home. So follow me for the journey today. I'll be going to loads of different booths and stands um, to speak to some of the industry heavyweights here in Russia. Follow me for the ride. So guys, I'm at Japona Hooker. Um, some of you may have seen them in the UK. Um, they're very well known for the oriental style shishas. Um, really eye-catching mouth tips as well. So I'm with Stanislav. He's uh, hello. Hello. My friend. Uh, he's um, the owner of uh, Japona. They also have a conceptic design and the other brand called Solomon. So um, Stanislav doesn't speak English very well. So we're going to go through an interpreter. Um, so sh she'll be the interpreter for today. So first of all, um, how are you finding the show? Ну, еще ничего не началось, и все, ну, каждый год все лучше и лучше. В этом году 26 тысяч квадратных метров, и каждый год все участники становятся все мощнее и больше. Мы точно так же расширяемся, и у нас уже три бренда. Well, the show hasn't begun yet, and uh, now everything is okay. It's 26,000 mm -hmm. of... Um, brands here and stars has three brands in here so it's japona conceptic and solomon okay perfect so um which brand did you come up with first out of the three первый бренд япона он появился в 2015 году концептик появился в 2018 году и соломон в 2019 году the first uh, brand was japona hooker it began in uh, 2015. Uh, the next is Conceptic. So, uh, two years uh, next. Ah, three. So, it was 2018. And the last is Solomon in the previous year. Okay, that's great. So, I've obviously, I've seen Japona around for quite a while. Um, I actually have a few Japona products, the Mummy Bowl and stuff like that. So, um, to my knowledge, there's no UK distributor for this product yet. Is that correct? Да, все верно. Так как у нас есть дистрибьютор в Европе, это компания Elvana, поэтому когда Англия станет выйдет из Евросоюза, тогда у нас будет официальная возможность находить дистрибьютора в Англии. Сейчас на данный момент мы Англию воспринимаем как Евросоюз общий. Uh, we now have a uh, distributor in Europe, so the UK is, yeah. uh, is the company Elvana. Yeah. Uh, so when uh, the UK would um, come out from the US, so uh, we would find someone who... Mm -hmm. uh, we could find a distributor in there. Okay, that sounds good. So, from Japona, what is the most um, famous product that you have? Is there a certain shisha or certain bowl that uh, everyone really knows the most and stuff like that? Сейчас на данный момент в России или в Европе? In Russia or in Europe? Um, uh, everywhere. Model Mini. Shuriken Mini? Uh, from Hookers, it's a Shuriken Mini. Uh, let's see them. This uh, Shuriken Mini, this uh, yellow, black, uh, uh, <coughs> red, black, and Venge. Okay. This is a popular model. Uh, Chashka Mumi, Mumi Ball. This is best yeah, I have, I have ball. Yeah, I have one of those, yeah. Yes. Uh, and... Give him one more. Uh, this personal uh, mouth tip. Very nice. This samurai. E uh, this uh, samurai, this uh, beds. Yeah. So, so what, are, what are the main differences between Conceptic? What made you get, have Conceptic? Conceptic design as well as Japona. What different elements 
do they have compared to your Japona hookers? Uh, no, Japona uh, это дерево, это четко выраженный японский стиль, uh, это полный комплект. Концептик uh, это карбон, это три главных слогана: легкий, надежный, стильный. Когда мы сейчас к ним подойдем, я вам покажу, чем же они отличаются. Япона uh, has the wood in its theme, so and uh, it has uh, the whole things in it, and it's uh, total Japan, so in its style and everything. And Conceptic uh, uh, is uh, more modern, so it has carbon in uh, his. It's uh, all. Uh, uh -huh. It's uh, um, light proof and uh, stylish. Still need that. Okay, that sounds great. Let's go over to the Conceptic uh, stand so we can see some of the hookers there. So we're at the Conceptic design stand now, following on from the Japona one. So I'm with Stanislas and uh, his interpreter as well. So um, from the Conceptic range, what one? Is the most popular out of this range. У нас их две модели. Одна модель 70 сантиметров, вторая 42. Преимущество этого кальяна в том, что у нас появилась съемная блюдце. Это очень удобно в работе. И независимо, если у нас есть маласа кетчер большего диаметра. Но все равно его можно снять, потому что у нас э, э, на рингах. Clips on nicely. Yes. Э, два вида мундштуков, карбоновый и стальной. Стальной с рукояткой. И у нас появилась очень классная сумка. Я покажу. Nice little carrier bag. This uh, uh, smart model. This uh, smart tubus. Oh wow, a very handy travel hooker. Okay, so basically with this travel hooker, you're in the park, you want somewhere to, yeah, very good, you want somewhere to rest your ass, you can just uh, take, a, take that out and sit down. Very handy. Okay. Uh, Conceptic has two types, it's um, this one of uh, height 70 centimeters and uh, the small one um, 42 centimeters. So uh, it has now a replaceable plate. Uh, and uh, if you have a melasa catcher, so you can uh, fit it everywhere because yeah. uh, it has O-rings. Various different models, carbon, stainless steel, this is a silicone, silicone with uh, stainless steel. Um, they have their own sort of melasa catcher that clips on really well to all their conceptic shishas. Uh, the trades are pretty good as well, clip on nicely. It looks the part. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet, but um, I will be getting around to it. This uh, 3D ball, yeah. uh, the 3D ball uh, printer. Uh, you can replace uh, the O-ring for um, lots of hookers, not for just for, not just for conceptic. Yes. Yes. One accessory. Но подходит на любую на любые кальяны за счет сменного кольца. The ring is replaceable, so you can fit to all of the hookers that you have in the world. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah. This is Solomon. Oh, this is Solomon. Okay, let's check it out. Как ты думаешь, сколько он стоит? How do you think it costs? So, obviously, looks very nice. Has a, a traditional sort of look, old school look. I reckon it'll cost somewhere between maybe three to five thousand uh, US dollars. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> On stoit uh, 1300 euro. 
Uh, it costs 130 euros. Oh, I just thought it was expensive, obviously, because you got the free brand. I thought this was like the major one, but yeah. Uh, this is very nice, Marpuch. Uh, it has uh, the beautiful Marpuch. What is it? Marpuch, Kolba and Decor, also from Marmarinov Carbon. Uh, it's uh, Marpuch is carbon uh, that is uh, styled uh, and the base or uh, the the bowl and the tin made of it. Yeah. That looks really nice. Съемное блюдце на притирках. Replaceable plate. И кожаный шланг. And uh, the hose made of skin. Каждый каждый покупатель получает э, манускрипт э, Соломона, oh. где я вписываю имя владельца после покупки. Uh, every buyer has a script yeah. and Stas uh, signs the name oh, wow, of nice. owner. Unique. Yes. yes. Very good. All right then. I think. Теперь ты поменял свое мнение. Он он стал дороже. Now it's uh, began to be more um, uh, to cost more. Yeah. In your eyes. Uh, with this one? Yes. No, I like it a lot. It looks really nice. Um, obviously, I like all of your brands. They look nice. I've tried the Japona bowls. Obviously, I need to... Um... Have you ever seen this? Uh... I've seen... I wouldn't say I've seen the exact same thing. But, I... yeah. but I've, seen, I've seen a few other brands with similar types of shishis, but that's just the way it is nowadays. A lot of them look similar, but this does look uh, really nice as well. Uh, I like my traditional uh, hookers as well, so... Uh, oh, wow. it's like... Now looking at this, like this, if you guys see this here, um, it hasn't got too much weight, but it's nice. And the finishing on it is really good as well. Uh, it's the unique uh, carbon that uh, was uh, cut and then uh, made it. Uh -huh. And so this uh, was uh, made by each piece oh, wow. to each other. Oh, it's connected. Очень, uh, очень дорогая, uh, it's an expensive uh, handmade. Когда ты будешь пользоваться этим кальяном, все твои друзья скажут вау. When you're gonna to smoke it, uh, all of your friends would like to say wow. Oh, yeah. You got you. <laughs> you, you tell him, yeah, he has to give me one then, and maybe I can show them. Sanastas, <laughs> very nice to meet you. Thank you so much, um, guys. Oh, thanks to you. No worries. Thanks. Um, obviously, very passionate man. He has three different brands, um, all quite unique and um, quite different to each other. I'm gonna obviously buy some products, test them out, and supply you guys with some reviews. So um, on to the next booth. Thanks a lot, guys. So as you guys know, the Russian hooker culture is insane, man. If, you're, if you haven't been to Russia, I really do advise that you do. It's my first time here. They got some crazy things going on, you know, uh, some really crazy things. So they have a lot of dances and stuff like that, keeping everyone entertained. Um, obviously, they got lots of uh, drinks for people who like to drink. So uh, everyone's having a good time. Um, loads of different tobacco stands as well. Everyone's having a good smoke. And uh, yeah, everyone's really friendly, man. Probably the most friendliest uh, shisha convention that I've uh, visited. You know, you normally get a few people uh, walking around and stuff like that who uh, don't really have a smile on their face. But here, everyone's smiling, everyone's enjoying, everyone's networking. It's what it's all about, man. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go off to a few shisha um, brands now to show you a few different models and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's go. So guys, I'm at the, so guys, I'm at another booth now, at the Hoop booth. I'm joined by Ilya, who is the owner of Hoop. Yeah, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, how's the show going for you at the moment? Uh, now it's only the start, the first business day. Uh, not much people here, but uh, only people who are interested in uh, business with hookers, yeah? So we are going to show new models to today, uh, find new dealers, distributors. So Sounds good. So obviously, I've seen Hoop around in the UK, because I'm from the UK. All of my sort of content I have on my pages, uh, UK based. So I've seen it quite a lot in London at about two lounges. Um, 
I really like the product. Obviously, I've been in Russia for a few days now. I smoked this hoob at a few places, which I really like, like the draw on it. Yeah. Um, what hoob shisha would you say is the best selling for a lounge? Uh, you know, I've got different hookahs, different designs. Uh, if you have traditional design, we have Supreme Series with traditional gold and bronze colors. If you had something like modern design, we have this series, yes, with uh, untraditional uh, shapes, uh, minimalistic design, yes. If you like, uh, you know, now it's very, very popular in Russia to make uh, fruit cocktails in the base. Yeah. Yeah, and this model, Hoop Atom, is uh, very, uh, you know, very popular because uh, you have very uh, comfortable uh, hole here. You can put uh, the fruits and stuff fruits, like that. Yeah, very, very beautiful composition. Yes, uh, something like pine pineapple here or orange, yes, and it looks very uh, modern, very unique. So uh, this one for lounges, if you have uh, fruit, uh, yeah. fruits, yeah. And this, kind of this is our, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, it's, uh, you know, for hard work. For, uh, oh. This hookahs is for hard. Uh, so the, um, the long lounge, yeah, really yeah, long lounge durable, really good, durable, yeah, yeah hookahs. We uh, produced them about three years now. Uh, it's uh, time uh, just for premium uh, look. Uh, it's uh, premium materials, uh, unique design. So uh, it's you know it's not for uh, when your guests uh, smoke. Uh, when you have a lot of tables near one near one, and uh, it's not very comfortable to uh, carry it uh, between tables. Yeah. You have a lot of space, free space, a big table. Uh, you uh, put it on the table and it looks, it looks uh, nice. Yeah, and yeah. You, can, you can put fruit in the base here. Yeah, so. of, uh, also fruits in the base, yeah. So, do you have any? Um, so, you have obviously some really nice uh, shishas for the tabletop for yeah. pres like prestige yeah. lounges. You got some uh, workhorses that will last. Yeah, workhorses, yeah. Workhorses, that's yeah. the word. Um, that will last at lounges quite a lot. Do you have any sort of like bu um, budget hookers like for like lounges who don't want to spend that much, like a budget sort affordable of hooker? Price. Affordable yeah. price, yeah. Affordable yeah. price, yeah. Uh, this model, like this, is affordable. This one, uh, small models, uh, not very expensive. Uh, also, uh, we uh, start these new models. Uh, it's uh, compact design and uh, unique colors. Uh, okay. We make, you see, uh, blue, green, and purple uh, ashtrays. It's unique technology. Nobody makes a colorful uh, ashtrays because okay. when you put a charcoal, it become. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look sometimes that yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it can uh, fire. Uh, yeah, but this technology, uh, we put uh, charcoal, take it away, and nothing happens. Okay, it looks like a good travel hooker as well. Yeah, yeah. For the size. Hooker, yeah. For, for the travel, we have a unique offer. You can see there. Oh. It's the tiny, <laughs> tiny boy. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, it's called soup item. Yeah, it's. Uh, kind of a uh, smaller copy than atom we talked before yeah yeah uh, so it's the same technology yes awesome. the magnets you still put some fruit in there yeah yeah the little fruits <laughs> yeah <laughs> little fruits so yeah looks good man um, so what what are the prices for these so if people in the UK wanted uh, them do you have a distributor there at the moment uh, we have no distributor there uh, we have only a few dealers a few shops yeah. that uh, buy hookahs no, no exclusive mm. uh, distributors who sell it somebody can uh, order it directly from us uh, we have prices about uh, from uh, 80 euros 80 euros up to 500 euros hookahs. wow yeah, it's a big difference from start to uh, top sounds good so yeah. I'm looking to buy a hoop today yeah. uh, which one would you recommend for me to get uh, it depends on uh, what you would like to uh, have to I for your lounge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, maybe for a lounge, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you said before we start uh, rec recording, you said that you like black color, black, yeah, I like black models. Uh, I can uh, recommend you uh, Mars Mini. Okay. It's mini black hookah. Uh, good price. You can taste it. You can check, uh, test it. And um, if you like it, uh, you can buy big models for your okay. lounge. It smoke the same. It's mini and uh, yeah, I, li I like I like lounge style shishas more. I have a lot of Russian shishas. They're quite small, so I like the taller stems. So that's what I like about some ah, of your hookahs. You like tall, yeah. I like tall stems. So, a lot so of them. You, in, yeah. you can choose a uh, big version, big okay. version as well. Okay, Ilya, yeah. thanks for having us. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, guys. Hoop hookah. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do. Um, I'm on to the next booth now. Yeah, hope in UK market will will increase uh, from year to year. Definitely.
guys, I'm at the DSH booth. Some of you may have seen it. They're also known as Dream Smoke Hooker. Um, I recently done a review on their um, Shisha, which you might have seen on my channel. Uh, a distributor called Connors Hooker has their products available. So I thought I'd just come to the stand uh, and meet with them. So how's the show going for you at the moment? How's the show going for you at the moment? Только все началось, как проходит шоу. Только все началось, пока люди подходят, интересуются. Вот. Но в основном уже все, кто подходит, уже с нами работают. So it's only beginning. People just go and look at this product, and some of them we have like kind of contract, yes, and some interest. So inter. Sounds good. So obviously I've smoked your products already. Um, do you have any new products out at the moment that maybe you didn't have a few months ago? Да, у нас появилась линейка ЭКО, вот, э, это э, ну, бюджетные кальяны, э, не хватало у нас в сегменте, э, и э, на них оказался очень большой спрос, вот, и сейчас производство загружено наполовину только этими моделями, вот, и пока ну, мы не покроем спрос, э, новых моделей, ну, они в разработке есть, просто запустить не можем. Okay, we have now line that's Echo Hookah, so that's new and that's affordable price. Yeah, it's not expensive and because of that a lot of people just are interested in it. So and because of that they want to buy it. So and we should just uh, cover our demand because it's very difficult production. So we have like a lot of production on that and so we're trying to deal with it and the main uh, demand is Echo Hookah because of the price. Echo. Yeah, uh, I think I've seen the Echo before. Uh, I think I've smoked it at a friend's house in the UK. He has he has the red one. So yeah, I, f I find that hooker quite nice as well. What are these nice colourful ones called over here? Because I know there's been a bit of interest from some people on my page about that purple one, yeah. Это не новая модель, это модель 2018 года. Мы их не, не, немного выпускаем, потому что э, очень тяжело найти, ну не то что найти, очень, очень тяжело сделать э, сами накладки э, из дерева и, и смолы. Вот, и, и они очень тяжело обрабатываются, их нужно очень много э, ручной работы, вот, и, ну и дерева мало, в общем, только, ну, из которого это все делается. Okay, that's a very interesting uh, model, yeah, so, and uh, that's uh, a few, like, there are a few uh, number of these hookahs, because it's very difficult to design, it's very difficult to product, because uh, we deal with the wood, high quality wood, and of course we should combine this wood with the another material, and it's a handmade work, and because of that it takes a lot of time, and because of that, that's limited production. Okay, sounds good. Guys, let's just put the camera onto those... Uh shishas real quick just so people can see what we were talking about obviously yes so guys obviously uh, you've now seen a clip of all of the hookers that dsh have uh, i just have a uh, one more question for you guys uh, what's new for 2020 which products are new Don't, never mind that just uh, so you said what's new for 2020 yeah what's new for 2020 i'm gonna ask uh, на 2020 год у нас uh, в проекте есть модель уже, вот, но опять же мы не можем ее запустить, потому что у нас очень сильно загружено производство. So we have a new product, we are going to work on that, but uh, we now don't have enough time because we have like uh, not difficulties, we are just busy with the production, yes. So, but we design new model for 2020. На 2020 год у нас э, планируется как минимум расширение производства, потому что у нас производство небольшое, можно сказать, крафтовое. У нас всего там э, 5-6 станков вот, металлообрабатывающих. И ну, на 2020 год это расширение производства и тогда уже внедрение новых моделей. So we are going to work on a new production, yes, we are going to product more than we have now, yes, and they have a lot of plans to do with the DSH, yes, so. Sounds good. Thank you for your time. I yeah, uh, hope you. to see you again soon. Uh, thanks a lot. Take care. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm at the Avion booth. 
Obviously, you guys have seen me review the Avion stick. This is one of the guys behind it. His name is Stas. How are you doing? Thank you. Okay, and you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So, um, obviously, I've reviewed the stick. Very good product. It's been selling well in the UK. Um, which new products do you have? Uh, we sell exclusive in UK, uh, only Connors Hooker. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, from uh, Anish at Connors Hooker. Which Anish, my friend. Who? Anish, my friend. Yeah, Anish, yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. So, um, which products are new? from here? Uh, we have uh, four new models, uh, one of this uh, stick air restyle, uh, stick uh, restyle steel RS, okay, uh, and uh, stick uh, restyle steel mini and the goal uh, one model uh, uh, air mini. Oh they look good, so you got some, got some travel uh, style ones. Full metal RS and full metal RS mini. Look really good man. So. Um, this height uh, 45 centimeters. Okay. So it's for travel hooker, take it out sort of thing. Uh, looks good, man. It's the cheapest hooker boot. Oh, the cheapest one? Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. Yes. I'll definitely have a try of that later. Um, I can get uh, for a little price for big uh, portion export. Okay, sounds good. All right, then, Staz, nice to see your new products. Um, and I'll come down to smoke a bit later. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm at the Alfaka booth. Uh, all of you who are watching this probably know who Alfaka are. Uh, one of the biggest and uh, oldest tobacco brands out there. The original, uh, the ones who created Double Apple, Grape and Minute and so on. Um, I'm here with Abda today and um, I just wanted to sit down and ask him a few questions. Obviously I'm doing this for more specifically the UK market. I just want to let you guys know what Alfaka are up to. So first of all, thank you for a great night last night. They, they had a party last night, it was crazy. I still haven't slept since, so I'm running on low fuel, but uh, yeah, thanks for that. And um, what's new with Alfaka for uh, 2020? Okay, for, first of all, we thank you for uh, visiting our booth here today. And we thank you also for attending our party uh, last night. We had all uh, uh, big fun. Uh, okay, Alfaka now is trying to uh, you know, restructure uh, the, uh, uh, the brand image uh, to uplift the packaging. As you can see, uh, and you can see in our booth that we have now introduced the new packaging. It looks really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks really good, and also it retained more freshness for our products. So we enter, we we uh, uh, consider some science uh, factors in the packaging to make it to retain it more fresh during the shelf life. And as well, you know, in the last two years we were interacting with uh, different customers, shisha lovers in different parts of the world, in Europe as well. And we were visiting, you know, uh, people in uh, the UK market yeah. as well to interact, to understand what is their test preference, what they are aiming for, what would uh, 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 they like to have in the future. And based on, the, on that, we have built an insight about our customer requirements and we started to develop new products, new flavors. We have started developing new flavors at the beginning and uh, as you have seen yesterday, we have launched four new flavors in Russia market. Uh, which are raspberry, uh, passion fruit, uh, pina colada, and uh, jasmine green tea. All of these four flavors were, you know, co-created with shisha masters, shisha lovers from Russia and from uh, 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 Europe as well. So we have created this range, and this is only the beginning. We will introduce some more new flavors in the coming few months. This is from flavors point, but Al Fakhir was. Uh, also aiming higher than only designing new flavors that everyone is doing now. So we designed a new concept of product which we call the bases and you have seen uh, that as well. Yeah, so if I'm correct, the bases are basically flavors that you cannot mix, oh you can mix, sorry, that you can only mix and not have them by themselves. Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So the bases are flavors uh, were designed or products were designed to be mixed with other flavors. It is high in intensity of flavors, like more far, uh, uh, four times more the intensity of the taste. It gives longer stability of the shisha experience and the performance. So if the normal shisha goes up at the, the beginning, you know, then start the taste dropping down quickly. 
when you mix it with bases, you uh, uh, make the shisha experience consistent from a taste uh, point of view, smoothness, and of course the uh, cloud as well. So uh, we have introduced so far four different types of bases, uh, which is ivory gold, uh, 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 amber rice, uh, ivory gold is cream, it's pure cream, uh, smooth, and it's, uh, uh, it gives an empowerment to the mixology concept in order to make any dessert like a uh, new flavor. So the shisha uh, lover can do his own mix without any limitation, so it's an infinite number of mixes. Uh, the same of Ive Amber Rice, which is mainly citrus mix uh, flavors and that also suits mixed mixes uh, with citrus, with fruits, uh, a lot of mixes can be done with, uh, with this product. And one of them was a polar freeze, which is pure cooling. It has no taste, it has no smell, but it gives the cooling sensation in the throat and you can play with it as a shisha lover, you can put the dosage you require, you, you desire, so you can make it you know, a Siberia freeze, or you can make it a Laksa, or you can make it London freeze. So you can play with it. So uh, uh, this is the real, uh, you know, experience that we aim to empower uh, the shisha lover to be able to do their own experience, to build it up. Uh, uh, the last one, which is specific for Russia, which is Majestic Aurora, it's a green herbal notes. Uh, it gives you the inspire. It's, it was inspired from the spas. You know, when you go to a spa, you feel you, you that scent. You know yeah, that. Scent, oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. It gives you the same feeling, the same taste. It, it makes you feel like enjoying a spa time. Uh, and this is was designed uh, specifically for for Russia. So this is in terms of the new products. But this is only the start. In the okay. coming few months, we also built a new, totally new concept to the market. It's tobacco free, nicotine free. But it is also doing a great, uh, uh, you know, uh, performance so far when co-created with different shisha masters, shisha lovers from different parts of the world. Everybody got crazy about it. So uh, pull up your socks and get ready for uh, the next of al -Fakhir. Okay, I can't wait, man. Thank you. That was a really good uh, explanation of what you guys have been up to. So I've got another question. I know you might not be able to answer it in depth. Obviously, because I'm from the UK, uh, al -Fakhir is used a lot in the UK. Uh, it's probably one of the most popular brands that are mixed at most lounges as well. So, when are you going to have a bit more of a bigger presence in the UK or introduce some more flavor lines or do some events or, you know, come... I know it's not as viable due to the tax implications and we understand that, but it'll be good to have a bit more of a presence from Alfaka yeah. in the UK. Absolutely, we, we, we do agree with that. Uh, the challenge is the tax, but still, as Alfaker is the leader a shisha company in the world and we have the majority of the market share globally and the UK market is still important for us and the shisha lover in the UK is one of our main concerns as well. So we, we yes we know the challenges but now Al Fakhir is figuring out how to go back and support the shisha lovers in, in the UK market with our fantastic products and that will be I guess soon because now we have a big team of people based in the UK looking after Europe uh, uh, market and the UK market as well and we have team on the ground in the UK now so it is one of our main focus and uh, we will be I think we will be there uh, uh, soon sounds great man it's really uh, positive to hear um, I bet it's been great sitting with you and uh, talking um, and yeah I think that's about it you've answered all my questions so uh, actually one more thing. Yes. So when it comes to Alfaka, um, your fusion line, um, is that ex exclusive to UAE only or is that worldwide? No, actually fusion line is available in Europe as well. Okay. I'm not sure uh, if it is available in the UK or not, most probably not. Yeah. But it's not exclusive for UAE. Uh, it is a global uh, product, so we, we have it uh, in different markets of the world. It's available in Germany, it's available in, in the Middle East and in Spain as well. Yeah. So we have it, yes, we have it there. Maybe soon it will hit, you know, UK market as well. Yeah. Look, the only reason I asked you, a few people have been asking me about it, so I just thought I'd uh, ask you. But yeah, thanks for your time. Um, well, hope no. to see you in the UK soon, man. I will, thank yeah. you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. Cheers. So guys, um, I'm at the Embry booth now. Uh, they're a Ukrainian brand that's been around for quite a while. I'm with the owner, Andre. Andre, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Very good. First day of Expo. Yeah. We, I hope you like our booth. Yeah. We, 
Ha my name is New Products. Have you uh, exhibited before? Uh, yes, it's our uh, four, uh, four years ago was first time in uh, this expo, and uh, every year we make expo and more and more big big booths and more products. Perfect, man. So obviously I'm smoking the mono, if I'm correct. This is your mono hookah. Yes, yes, it's our uh, Embry Mono model. Uh, it's our most popular model. Yeah. Uh, it's have uh, 12 uh, different uh, designs. It's, uh, in, in different colors, with wood, with stainless steel, in white. As you see, it's a Mono uh, Evo uh, White, white edition, Snow White. Yeah, I've been smoking it for a few minutes now. I, pre I like it quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, it's got a very uh, different sort of draw, the pull. It's uh, very open, but at the same time it has that restrictiveness to it as well, which is good. Um, obviously, this shisha, um, I've got a bit of uh, gossip, as you like to say. There's someone in the UK who's going to be purchasing them, or if they already purchased them now from the UK. We're not going to mention his name, but uh, he has a lounge opening soon. So uh, it'll be good to see Embury there. Um, I've also spoke with them previously. They've kindly made me a, a customized uh, mono hooker. Yes. Yeah. So I'm really excited to give a review for that. Um, so apart from the mono, what other products do you have? Uh, this is, as I tell you, uh, most popular model. It's a mono, but we have also a premium model line. Uh, it's more have more many handcrafted parts uh, yes and, uh, more different uh, ways on if is a screw uh, and, uh, maybe in, uh, later you show them uh, we also have many accessories most popular it's our tongs okay. it's uh, simple but uh, it's very uh, practical good for uh, for work we have three sizes of tongs, and uh, many people in the world, uh, in the world, very like this accessories because it's uh, good for using. This year we have new mini model, okay. mini model of tongs for uh, house using. Okay, sounds good. Yes. So um, obviously you're from Ukraine. So uh, in Ukraine, what's the shisha scene like there? Obviously we're in Russia now. Is it pretty similar to Russia, the Ukraine uh, shisha scene? Uh, yes, we are uh, watching for uh, worldwide uh, industry, uh, what people like, and uh, trying to make something uh, new, as you see, with Dawan Purjing yeah. for this, uh, and uh, also, as you uh, say, that uh, uh, draw. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. We working, uh, we start uh, making Kuka in uh, 2011. Yes, and uh, all these years we uh, working on not only for design but also for uh, useless uh, products that you uh, it's simple for use uh, and uh, interesting experience for smoking. Yeah. It's also interesting. Kids. No, thanks a lot. So I'm gonna when I get back to the UK, I'm gonna try uh, the mono out that you kindly made for me, and I'll supply you with a honest review on what I think of it uh, from my thoughts right now after smoking this one it seems pretty good so I'm excited to take my one back home thanks a lot for your time I really appreciate you taking some time out to see thank you also. and I uh, I'll see you around later on thank you Um, so guys, I managed to catch some time with uh, the organizer of this uh, wonderful show, Hooker Club Show, Asia. Uh, thanks for um, sparing some time to see us. Um, loving the event. It's my first time in Russia. So I've been to uh, different events around the world, um, but nothing compares to the scale of this one, you know. Really surprising to see such uh, wonderful exhibitors. And everyone's here from Alfaka to Starbars. So this is uh, the whole of the world is here. So. Um, it's not what I imagined. I thought it would be smaller, but it's so good to see that it's a uh, huge. So, what made you want to start Hooker Club Show? Uh, first, first exhibition was uh, uh, in uh, 16, 2016 yeah. years, 
uh, and uh, it's fifth division. Uh, first was uh, smaller, but we growing up every year for 30% oh, wow. uh, place and 30% uh, people. Wow. And uh, uh, we are uh, now is the largest uh, exhibition in all over the world. Yeah. And here we're uh, waiting people uh, from uh, Australia, Brazil, yeah. uh, etc. Yeah, I noticed. I met a lot of people who are from Australia and all parts of the world, so it's really good to see. Do you have any plans of taking this show worldwide? Uh, I think about it, but uh, preparing this uh, huge exhibition, it's one year hard work. And uh, uh, I think uh, for me, it, now it's impossible because I want to live a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and exactly. if I have uh, any exhibition. But uh, now Russia is the center of uh, uh, Hoka society. Yeah. And uh, it's good if uh, here all people is communicate. Yeah, it's really uh, good. One foreigner meet other foreigners in Russia, it's good. Yeah, I've been to a few lounges and everyone's here, so it's really good to network and get to know the different hookah cultures from all around the world. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, Russia's a hookah hub of the world now. Uh, all the latest new products are coming from Russia, so it's really good to see. You also own a hookah lounge here as well? Yes. Um, what's the name of it? Amar Khayam. Amar Khayam. It's that... uh, three uh, lounges, uh, two in St. Petersburg, one in Moscow. Oh, you got one here as well? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to come down and try, yes, try the shisha there. Um, so, for next year, what are your plans for next year? Obviously, this year's not over yet, but you got anything more big or anything more exciting than this to pull off for next year? Every year, I said, I I want this size, not more. Okay. I, I want uh, this uh, count of people, not more. But uh, every year, it's beginning new ideas. For example, uh, this year, three days, first day of B2B, because a lot of people, uh, second yeah. days. And uh, uh, we find a new idea that third day and uh, we've opened one more hall, two big halls yeah. now. Previous one was uh, one big and one half of uh, this and uh, now it's uh, two big halls. I don't know, I don't know, but uh, of course we have some surprise. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So um, with these shows, there's a few other organizers around the world who do shows like this. Um, a lot of them do even like reviewer shows, influencer shows. Do you guys have any plans for that sort of stuff? Uh, now uh, we communicate with uh, different uh, government, different part of government and different part of government, different countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope uh, our government will understand, will listen to us and yeah. uh, save of our uh, society. Yeah. And uh, we talked with uh, different go governments, uh, for example, Turkey, uh, Egypt, and uh, we communicate with them to make uh, some collaboration. That sounds good. Thank you for uh, taking your time out to see us. I know you're very busy today, um, and I'll make sure I'll come down to the lounge later on as well. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey guys, back at another booth now. I'm with uh, George from McLeod. Uh, hi, nice to see you, man. We had a great night at the al event yesterday. Uh, I think everyone enjoyed themselves yesterday. So, um, George, first things first, I've seen McLeod before. Yeah. You've got some really interesting looking products. Um, the way you craft your product looks amazing. Um, could you just tell us what makes you different to a few other Russian brands out there who make shishas? Okay. First of all, we think that uh, our McLeod it's not a hookah. This, uh, this is art, yeah? You, can, you, you have to look because this is a uh, really long process, long process because first of all we're making a sketch and then we're just uh, starting to make step by step plasticine uh, like a shape and then start casting to the molds and uh, making the, uh, like a brass insert. So uh, this is our uh, uh, difference with uh, this is our chief designer. He made it by, by uh, his, himself, so this is really hard uh, working process. So, and uh, our hookah um, handmade, so that's uh, difference. And also, what's also? Also, we have a great team and uh, with uh, uh, different uh, uh, 
uh, you know, different angles. For, for yeah. example, yeah, this is uh, just a uh, design, but yeah. we also have uh, like a technological uh, team, and they're working well with uh, like a, um, with our uh, SkyTech hookah, for example. Uh, uh, so something like that. That's 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 difference. That's great. I've never actually I've never seen anything like this before. It's, yeah. It is a uh, very unique and like you call it, it is art at the end of the day you hand carving hand sketching this um lion on the yeah. shisha you know you've got some really beautiful designs uh what new products do you have for 2020 what new products we have okay i, I have to show you because we yeah. have some people really love it because this is uh, like a uh, i don't know how galvanized yeah yes uh, yes some kind of galvanized uh, so this is a little bit different so we experimented with a different type of materials uh, covers and everything so let's go i'll show you a little bit about uh, our new kings yes okay uh, okay uh, yes this year we start with a absolutely uh, different type of brass inserts we use uh, uh, some kind of uh, different types of material so see here is uh, like a brass and uh, metal stainless steel just covered with the gold and uh, we put together some uh, crown and uh, head so it's uh, like a and also Schwarzenegger yeah, it's uh, yeah. also made of two parts so some part of uh, just brass and the uh, second part is uh, metal so it's like a uh, half to half uh, that, that Terminator one looks sick yeah looks really good yeah, really love it. I hope for Snake is not be uh, angry. <laughs> uh, oh, he might not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he sees it. <laughs> yeah, for but, sure. And also, I would like to show you some uh, one yeah. our special. We made it for uh, special for uh, special for Expo. This is Alien Egg. Oh, 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 oh wow! <laughs> yes, this is really unique because uh, this. Um, also, it's not just a hookah, it's a piece of art. You can uh, put it somewhere in office or sh showroom uh, because it looks absolutely different. Because, you know, sometimes uh, shops or uh, uh, hookah shops don't have uh, too much, uh, you know, inside uh, yeah. something, features or... Uh, yeah, but this one is amazing. But uh, this, uh, yeah, but this uh, one we made just only for Expo, and uh, this hookah will be uh, sale with, uh, with with a small copy of it, uh, and also we just made, made uh, like a uh, yeah el alien, uh, alien fork, so it's a whole set, this and this, and also push inside here, so it's uh, uh, also when you blow out, it's just uh, like a smoke from here, yeah. Something like that. So, what, cool. yes. What's more interesting? I don't know. This is our new one, okay. new model. All other models is. Uh, uh, looks quite good, models, man. But, uh, you got you got a very wide range of different types of hookers. You got some wooden ones there. Yeah. Are they wood? Yes. 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 So let's go and see them. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna make some uh, different types of uh, brass inserts. This is uh, like a small one and uh, cheap, cheaper, cheaper than a big one. So it's uh, it's all about manufacturing process. And also, uh, did you see uh, Skytech? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm, in I'm smoking. Yeah. I'm, I'm ah, Mario, Mario. Yeah. Mario, yeah. <laughs> okay. But if you want, we we can. I can show you. Yeah, let's uh, see the Skytech uh, McLaren. So yeah. how how it's work? beautiful parts but i think uh, carbon or something yeah. so first of all what we have here it's adjustable perch uh, uh, sorry diffu diffuser so you can can you take just because you can change levels of your smoking so you can smoke like a classic smoke or uh, like a with diffuser and it's really easy to adjust just turn, yes Malasa catcher, yeah, for five balls, uh, that's good, and you can change it as well. Just put it out and uh, something like that. Very good. Very yeah. nice. So, so, big question is. Oh. Yes. Have you found any um, UK distributors yet? 
For now, uh, no. We're looking for a strong partner here, and uh, I hope we, this year we start start uh, sales in uh, UK. Okay. I think. Um... Also, I wanna ask some question from uh, Great Britain people. Uh, for each country, we would like to make something special. So, uh, what you would like to see uh, in the brass insert? What uh, a symbol or uh, something? So, okay, yeah, I can uh, definitely uh, yes. uh, come up with something for the UK. Yeah, uh, something special. Let me uh, have a little think about it, yeah. and uh, we can definitely uh, liaise with each other, and I can help you with that 100. percent So uh, this is McLeod, guys, George. Um, so yeah, I'm, get, I'm definitely going to try some of these sheets out and uh, let you guys know how they are in the UK market. So cheers, George. I'll yeah. see you soon. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>
They're not the way to go. Yeah. Uh, they have harmful chemicals. They're just not. I don't like the person. Everything is typical. Not. Everything is typical. So with your bowls, are very interesting. Obviously, I've I've tried the color changing bowl, um, as I have one. And um, can you just explain what your bowls are made out of and the process of yeah. them? Uh, the process or what is the difference between our bowls? Yeah, the diff difference between your bowls and um, yeah. the normal standard bowls yeah. that are out there and then the process of how you guys make them, where you make them in Russia. Yeah, stuff okay, like that. I'll take yeah. it. Okay, okay. I can tell you, hello my friends, I'm, my name is Sergey, I'm the manufacturer of these bowls. So I can tell you some information on my perfect English, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure you'll understand me. So, we've got different bowls, it's a new model, it's a glazed bowls, it's uh, it's uh, yes, it's glazed bowls, so uh, it hasn't got a problem of glaze. So while smoking, while smoking, it is not hot. It's not hot, so while smoking, you have no problems to touch the bowl. So you can see my fingers. Uh huh. So uh -huh. sure. you can see the difference on these bowls. It is not hot, and you can touch it. You can touch it while smoking so it's yeah you can be sure yeah so it's not hot while smoking so that means that you can control the heat you can control your smoking it's not a problem so there is the ball we change color so uh, when it makes hot it put down the color and you can see when it's ready to smoke so you can see here It changes color, so I can show you one ball. If one second, uh -huh. I can show you one ball. You can see how it changes color. Now it needs the time. Just a second. So, you can see how we change the color and it go back. So, you can control the heat, you can control the heat and you can relax, not look, not looking at your time yeah. and you can visualize your smoking and it's easy to understand everything. Uh, that's very unique, I've never seen that, having a, a visualized sort of presence to know when your bowls yeah. cook, great, great stuff. Um, so obviously you got the color changing bowl, you got the new glazed bowl, yeah. and then you got the uh, the old school normal old school, bowl. Yeah, typical bowls, typical. something like this one. Our typical line for three years on the market, Russian market, and other countries. Do you um, do these bowls with a funnel? Yes, as well? with a funnel. Yeah. This one, this one funnel, but it is a different model from this. Okay. We've got these bowls in the boxes okay, so we great. need to uh, okay. find it and unpackage this so obviously I'm from the UK so I know that you have a distributor there yeah Konisuka what sorry is it? Konisuka yeah he's a distro yeah. in the UK so you, everyone if you're watching this and you want to buy them and you're in the UK just go to Konisuka um, he will have all these bowls in stock he got the color changing ones and stuff like that if you're looking for something new something unique that you haven't seen before it's a cool thing to have. I've smoked from it a few times at home. Uh, obviously, you can visualize when your bowl is cooked. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for the interview, Sergey. Okay. Uh, and I hope to see more new products come out soon. Yeah, that's interesting. Nice to see you. I'm now at another Russian uh, hooker brand's booth called Ferro Hooker. Some of you may have heard of them. Um, I certainly have. Um, they're well known for their uh, stainless steel shishas, is yeah. it? Um, so that's uh, how I noticed you guys in the market because you have a really nice gold stainless steel hooker. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've smoked your hooker as well in the UK. My friend has one. Uh, I really like it and I really enjoyed it, hence why I wanted to interview with you guys. That's right. So um, what's new for 2020? Uh, today we present you a brand new mini model. It's mini classica. It's look, look like that. Oh wow, nice. It's all stainless steel and this detail is made of bronze. Okay. It's very uh, handful to smoke on the bar. Okay, nice little way. It, uh, it has uh, the same pull and perch like a big one, but it has small size. It's a good, a good travel hooker to have. Yeah, it's, it's good for travel. It's fit in that size box. Oh, perfect. Is it, it, 
is it much cheaper than the big one? Substantially cheaper? Or? Uh, this cost is uh, 10,000 of rubles today. This is uh, 12,000. So it's 2,000 cheaper than a big one. Okay, that's great. So out of your big hookahs, you got those two only at the moment? Uh, we have uh, this fair one, yeah. this classic mini, and this uh, classic gold. Classic gold. Uh, we also can make a gold version of uh, any model. Okay. Do you have any distributors in the UK market yet? Not yet, but we are planning to. Planning okay. to. Okay, that's great because I, I really think um, your style, the simplicity of your sh of the way your uh, hooker looks, but the actual way it pulled and the draw of it, I really do like it. With a lot of Russian brands, there's a lot of good ones out there, but with your one, it was actually probably one of the first Russian hookers I uh, I tried. Mm -hmm. um, because my friend has it for home use, so uh, he must have got it when he came here couple of years back or something mm -hmm. so um, how's uh, the show gone for you today any uh, um, new business anything different yeah we made a couple of sales and meet uh, our old customers because we're uh, pretending in uh, in shows uh, since 2015 year and uh, go go here every year and meet a lot of uh, customers and they come again in the next shows so it's a very delightful okay. time here so with your hookahs you sell it stem only and with a base or do you just do one option uh, we sell Ferro one and Ferro classic uh, uh, without the base but with hose and mouthpiece and classic mini is full kit with the glass okay. so apart from your uh, three or four models that you have at the moment do you have any other um, Ferro uh, sort of products out there? We have uh, only three models, uh, yeah. Fair One, Mini and Classica and the Gold 12 version of uh, any model. Okay, that's great. Um, so this one over here is the... Uh, it's Fair One. Fair One, okay. So it comes in this uh, nice compact yes, it comes box. In box. Yeah. Nice compact box, yeah. easy to uh, travel. As you can see, all the pieces are yeah. there, nice and compact. Uh, our string side is uh, metal processing. We made it with excellent um, glossy, and it's glossy outside and inside, so it's okay. it, it's very easy to clean. Yeah. But some of the other ones have like a mat inside, don't yeah, they? Yeah. And they don't look as good to clean sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. You know, I really look forward to hopefully you finding someone in the UK um, to distribute with. We have a talk a bit later about that. I know a few people who may be interested. Um, but yeah, we're interested as well. Yeah, so um, thanks a lot, Ilya. Hopefully, people can um, check Ferro out and hopefully purchase it and uh, find it as good as I did. So yeah, thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. you for passing by. No worries, guys. I'm with the main guy from Shaman Cold, my friend Daniel, based in the UK. What one? Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so he's based in the UK, but he, um, he has a, a very big uh, coal company here in Russia. Um, it's number one, right? It's the number one producing uh, coal company here in uh, Russia. We do supply on Amazon as well, as you already know, yeah. Adam. But you know, we're trying to expand our borders. We got Australia, we got Japan, we got a lot of other countries that we're trying to aim to. US, uh, France, Germany, Spain. So, you know, we're trying to hit the UK market hard this year. Good, man. That's what I like to hear. So, they have a few different uh, sizes of their coal. If you just come with me this way, Obviously, they got the normal 20, uh, they got the 26s, which will work quite well in the UK, as well as the 25s. Um, they then have their XX, which is the 28, which is very big. And then obviously, they got their Mega Coal, which is the 31s. 30 um, no point going any bigger than this, because if you do, it's a waste of time, really, isn't it? It's a waste, it, of, time. It's a waste of time and a waste of coal. So, exactly. this, so this is the exactly. uh, biggest the coal should be, to be honest. So obviously they've got a few different models. As Daniel said, Shaman's coming to the UK. Um, obviously you can't discuss anything about pricing yet. It will all come out later. But um, he was on Amazon for quite a while. It sold out quite quick when you were on Amazon. So it's a good sign. Uh, a few other good coal brands in the UK, but it's good to see someone uh, who's from outside the UK trying to come into the market. So it's great stuff really. And uh, hopefully you do as well as you've done here in the UK. Listen, it's a big market. Uh, we really want to try to like focus on you know the end users. So we try to do our best to give them that maximum and the best shisha experience. 
and we just hope that the UK is going to give us as much love as it already did on Amazon and other places. So you know. That's great. Hopefully they do, man. And I'm looking forward to what you're going to do with your. That's a no, 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 We'll introduce the other owner a bit later on another video. Thank Thanks you a so lot, much, guys, guys. Thank and you. Uh, see you later. So, guys, I'm here with another Russian uh, hookah tobacco brand uh, called Severo. I'm um, with uh, Georgie. Georgi. Gear. Georgi. Um, so, I'm just gonna um, ask him a few questions about his brand. Um, I've smoked it a few times in the UK, uh, and it was quite good. Um, so, first of all, thank you for uh, taking some time out to interview. Um, take Time up for this interview. Thanks for um, your interest no, and no to enjoy our no, brand. No worries. So, with your brand, do you have a blonde and a dark, or just dark leaf? Uh, the Severa is interesting product uh, in uh, this thing because uh, we try to make actual product in uh, light segment. So uh, historically, light tobaccos is Virginia with the big leaf with uh, much syrup, uh, and uh, but about five last years or maybe three uh, we see that uh, the most brands uh, that's in uh, middle and in uh, strange uh, segments uh, they have uh, less uh, chopped uh, leaf uh, they have less syrup uh, so you can work with it as you want uh, uh, and uh, it's uh, you can overheat it and other things so uh, we tried uh, to make actual uh, light product uh, and uh, we um, we use three barrels. Uh, we boil it, and uh, we get uh, dark barley, Boil it, but it's light. Oh wow! That's so, very interesting. Yeah. So you got all the benefits from the dark tobaccos in light segment, and uh, it's really interesting because nobody do it before. Uh, so we think that uh, we made uh, the yeah, something quite quite unique. So yeah, with me, obviously I'm from the UK, we have a lot of blonde tobacco, we've been smoking blonde for years. Um, I've only just in the past four or five months started to go into more of the dark tobacco. Mm -hmm. In the beginning I couldn't I couldn't take it, you know, it's uh, a lot of nicotine and it's hard yeah, to yeah, inhale. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I heard about it and I know that uh, the Europe uh, started to uh, try dark tobaccos and there is already a trend for dark tobaccos but most people can't smoke it yeah. uh, and I, that's why I think that uh, our product uh, it's dark it's light so it's perfect for Europe right now yeah exactly so um, yeah I, me I don't remember what flavor I tried but I remember trying it and I thought it was really nice at a lounge in uh, central London that had it but obviously uh, thanks a lot for the blogger box I'll be uh, oh. testing all of the stuff yeah, and there is sure. most uh, of our flavors and also new flavors, so I think you will enjoy it. Okay, perfect. Do you guys ever have plans um, to come to the UK market? Uh, yeah, for sure, but uh, your taxes and <laughs> excise. I, I, I think I've, I've asked everyone that, and I know the yeah, answer, but uh, I still we, have to ask. But, but um, uh, it's just uh, paperwork, uh, but so we just need a good partner there. Uh, and we'll see because right now we're going to the Germany, to the Czech Republic. Uh, I think that all will be good, and we will attend Frankfurt Schirmes uh, this April, uh, and then maybe Seville. So we'll see. Perfect. I'll be at both of those. So I'll see you there. Nice. Um, what was your main new product for this show? Have you got any new flavors that you've uh, released recently just for this show? Uh, th th this time is uh, the half new, I think, uh, because. Uh, First of all, we want to uh, represent our uh, new line, uh, the middle line. Uh, but uh, there was some issue with the leaf, uh, we didn't get it. So uh, it will come later. Uh, so uh, we made new nine flavors and uh, we show it on the, our basic leaf uh, in the light line. Uh, and uh, people just can check it and uh, give our as feedback, um, but uh, these flavors will came to market. Will come to market uh, in middle line, I think, in April. Perfect, man. Sounds really good. Can't wait to try the flavors. I'll be sure to give you guys feedback. Thanks a lot, Jorge, for uh, coming and uh, letting us interview you. Thanks a lot, man. Really yeah. appreciate it.